Now we're going to find the Laplace transform of y prime. y prime is a function and it it's the derivative of y. So we're going to first assume that Laplace of y, which is given by the integral between 0 and infinity of e to minus s t y dt exists for some s bigger than s0. Okay, we need to have this one here. And uh, now we to find the Laplace of y prime, we're going to use some uh, uh, the definition and integration by part. That's the key to solving this, this to finding the, the Laplace of y prime. So by definition, we can write this as the limit or the integral between 0 and infinity of y prime e to minus st dt. Okay? And uh, using the definition of the uh, improper integral, so we have the limit as x goes to infinity of the integral between 0 and x of y prime e to minus st dt. Okay? So first, focus on this one. And after that, we're going to take the limit. And when we do so, we have to make some assumptions. So here, the best way is we're going to use the differentiate integrate so we're gonna differentiate e to minus st so when we differentiate we're gonna minus s minus st and once we integrate we get this one here so we have a plus minus with this minus we're gonna have a plus therefore we have this integral so the limit as x goes to infinity of uh, uh, y e to minus st between 0 and x plus the integral so i'll take the s outside here between because i did the multiplication only once so here the integral between zero and x of y e to minus st dt okay here one key idea is uh, let's first plug the x so we get uh, y e to minus sx minus y of zero Okay, here when, when, when x is 0, I'm going to get y of 0, and e to 0, which is 1, and I'm going to get s, the integral between 0 and x of y e to minus s t dt. Here, uh, as x goes to infinity, here, I'm going to do some assumption here, because uh, the issue that they have is that... Uh, this in this limit here as x goes to infinity of y e to minus s x okay i'm gonna assume that y has some what we call exponential order that means y is less than some exponential so when i take the limit here i get zero we need to have this assumption here so we assume that we assume that y is of an exponential order that means y is less than e to some power here okay some uh, power of alpha x we assume that okay or we can alpha can be positive or negative but we have the exponential order and with this s we get the result that this one should go to zero so this one would go to zero we have minus y of zero plus s times the limit of uh, as x goes to infinity of the integral between 0 and x of e to minus s t y dt. Here, so this is the Laplace of y prime. So it's minus y0 plus s. This is just the Laplace of y according to the definition. So I have then the Laplace of y prime is s laplace of y minus y of zero okay so this tells me that uh to i can change a differential equation that's something like y prime to laplace of y and i know how to do laplace of, uh, of functions not of their derivatives okay 
and this proves that the Laplace of y prime is s l y minus y of zero. Okay, we're gonna see what happens when we do Laplace of y second. But we're doing this step by step. We are not. We don't want to learn everything at once. So the key is to remember this one here. We will need it. We will have to use it later. Okay, let me make the y's look the same. Okay, so the Laplace of y prime is s l y minus y of zero. Next, we're gonna do l y second, and after that, we're gonna generalize. Thank you.